Well, this is a very important study because we're going to be looking at osteoarthritis. And osteoarthritis is the most common type of disability we see in our patients. It also takes up a lot of healthcare dollars. Uh, there's some promising new technologies and actual drug therapy which may be able to curtail or prevent this disease, but we need to find a better way to study it. So this uh, multi-center feasibility trial is to look at articular cartilage through biomarkers and also through MRI in a separate group of patients who have just torn their anterior cruciate ligament. This affords an opportunity for us to study the cartilage in a group of patients who we know have damaged the cartilage, have torn this ligament, and we're able to intervene early within two weeks of their injury to actually evaluate these biomarkers in the urine, the serum, and also the synovial fluid at the same time using very sophisticated imaging with 3T MRI to look at the joint surface cartilage. There is damage to the joint done at the time of injury, which includes damage to the ligament, of course, the anterior crucial ligament, but also the articular cartilage, joint surface cartilage, the meniscus, and even the subchondral bone. So we do know that many patients, maybe up to half of patients who tear their anterior crucial ligament, are at risk for developing post-traumatic or after-injury arthritis over time. That's why this group of patients affords an opportunity for us to study these markers and then hopefully apply new treatment strategies that can prevent articular cartilage breakdown and arthritis in the future. Well, this is a very exciting uh, opportunity for us to collaborate with some very experienced researchers and colleagues at the University of uh, California, San Francisco, and also the Hospital for Special Surgery in New York. Uh, we all have extensive experience in research. We have a lot of experience in ligament reconstruction surgery. So it is really a multidisciplinary team from several institutions. There will be orthopedic surgeons, radiologists, molecular biologists trying to answer these questions. ACL injuries occur commonly in cutting, pivoting, twisting, and jumping sports, but the ACL can be injured in a variety of other traumatic events. Uh, osteoarthritis is very, very common, much more common than anterior cruciate ligament injury, but we do have this opportunity because ACL injuries occur in our practices. At Mayo Clinic in Rochester alone, uh, we see over 300 anterior cruciate ligament injuries per year. Well, hopefully we can translate this research in the ACL injured knee to the osteoarthritic knee. And th what we learn from examining these uh, biomarkers and from the MRI after injury can maybe allow us and others to develop strategies, maybe drug therapy, or ways to prevent or at least delay osteoarthritis, which is a very common worldwide problem that results in disability for so many people.